We're talking with Dr. Robert Abel, Jr. He is an eye care specialist, and he has so much information to tell us about the eye. But I would like to ask a question about light. There's UV light, there's, uh, there's sunlight, I mean, there's all these different kinds of light. You even talk about blue light. How are we affected by this light? What, what are these lights? Light is part of electromagnetic radiation. It goes from cosmic rays, which are the really short ones, mm -hmm. gamma rays, X-rays, and then into the UV family, okay. UVC, B, and A. And as you get closer to A, you get closer to the visual spectrum. So the wavelengths that go to 400 to 700 nanometers, or angstroms, are the area that we can see. Certain animals see much more than we do, or have different areas. As you go beyond 700, you go into the infrared, radio waves, TV, and the less harmful ones. So the key for us is vision is 400 to 700. And in that is colors. That's why we have three color cones, red, blue, and yellow. Right. The blue are the most sensitive. The blue is nearer to the ultraviolet, just like violet and blue are close to each other. And therefore, since the astronauts have been more endangered for developing cataract, even though they may only go up once because mm -hmm. there's more radiation from sunlight okay. and more of these wavelengths in all, wave, all fields, they have now looked for protection from UVA, UVB, UVC, and Blue light, blue light, some of the blue light. They know in experiments with animals that if you expose them to blue light close to 400, there'll be more of a burn in one minute. Whereas if you go up to 430, it takes five minutes. Mm -hmm. If you go to 470, you can put that on all day long and never have damage. That's why people should understand that when we talk about blue light, we're talking about the lowest part of the energy spectrum. It is those short wavelengths that have the impact. Einstein knew all the particles and mm -hmm. wavelengths, etc. It's rather complicated, but we know we can see certain colors. We don't know what we don't see, like the UV and some of these blue wavelengths. And that's why good sunglasses help us. And that's why lutein is that one chemical and carotenoid that helps absorb these dangerous wavelengths. And that's why we need a good amount of it in our retina to protect us. We also need it in the lens of the eye because it protects to a certain degree against the development of cataracts. Well, most people are conscious of UV rays and that they should wear sunglasses to protect their eyes from that. But the blue light is all around us, right? It's in outdoors, indoors. The blue light is all around us because every wavelength is around us. You know? Ah, okay. I mean, even the infrared is around us. We, we don't realize it. Cosmic rays, CAT scans, mm -hmm. fluorescent lights have UV, li UV rays in them. Therefore, oh. Protection is important. You're not going to wear your sunglasses right. in the supermarket, but if you take your lutein yes. and you take your fluoroglow free lutein, you're protected. Free lutein is what naturally is available, and if you're eating spinach, kale, collard greens, etc., even mm -hmm. corn and eggs, mm -hmm. that's what you will find. And that's why fluoroglow took free lutein. And it's ironic that we were treating our horses and cows and chickens with the appropriate nutrient before we as human beings realized it was important for our own health. Research just keeps on going. Okay, and you say that the astronauts, and uh, how about uh, airplane pilots? Airplane pilots have a 60% higher rate of cataract formation because they are closer to ionizing radiation. We're protected by the ozone layer mm -hmm. and clouds, but that is thinning, so it behooves us to protect ourselves every way possible. That doesn't mean shun the sun, because then you don't get vitamin D at right. all. So you need a balanced life. And balance means supplementing, getting the right amounts. You don't have to do too much. Mm -hmm. And follow the current research and ask your doctor. Well, thank you, Dr. Abel.